Hey guys, Jane with the Summer Rain Channel. Welcome back. Today we're going to make a cherry emulsified lip scrub. So the thing that I love about this lip scrub is emulsifier really is a game changer in a lip scrub. So, okay, let's just pause for a second. If you're not already doing it, super important that you are exfoliating your lips. And I say this because you'll get like those dead skin cells and you go to put on like your lipstick or your lip gloss or anything like that and you wind up with the clunky stuff. We don't want that. We want to get rid of all of that dead skin. So the thing that I love about this lip scrub is the emulsifier really adds a body to this scrub. So by that I mean, let me just grab a little bit. See how kind of thick it is and it kind of holds its shape. So if I put it on my finger, you can tell that it's not really going anywhere. Now, when you make one with just like oils and sugar, typically you gotta be like leaning over this thing and trying to get a good exfoliating happening on your lips, where this one has just a bit more body than if you didn't use an emulsifier. The second thing that I like about this scrub is the emulsifier, when it's introduced with water, it kind of rinses off most of that greasy residue that can sometimes be left behind. Not that that's a big deal because I typically, you know, rinse my face off anyways. I did post the full recipe on the video. Also put a link to my blog down below. So in the blog post, I go just a little bit more in depth on all the ingredients, why we use them, everything like that. So if you wanna hop over to the blog, that is in the description box down below. Without further ado, let's dive in and make our lip scrub. Oh, and if you haven't done so already, be sure you hit that subscribe button down below. We're gonna go ahead and start out by grabbing a heat safe container. And to this, we're gonna add our grapeseed oil. and our stearic acid. We're gonna pop this on a double boiler until it's completely melted. So here are our melted oil phase ingredients. What we're gonna do is just give this an ice bath. So the way we do that is I have a bowl that just has some frozen water in there and then I add just a little bit of cold water to it and we're gonna set this right on top. Now the reason why we're doing this is we just kind of wanna speed up the cooling process so then that way we're not sitting here having to stir it for a very long time. So this is just gonna make our oil phase ingredients cool just a little bit quicker than they would um, if we were just sitting here mixing it. Now when you're mixing it, you wanna make sure that you're kind of scraping the sides of the container and it shouldn't take long at all for this to cool down for you. So it's gonna get to a consistency that's almost like a thick pudding consistency and you want to wait until it gets to that consistency before you pull it off the ice bath and as you can see it's starting to thicken up just a bit here and I'm gonna leave this just on here for a few more seconds and let it cool down just a bit more than what it is okay so as you can see when it's completely cooled down it's gonna be like I don't know, maybe a pudding-like consistency. Now that this is cooled down, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna add our cherry flavor oil. And then we'll just mix that in there really good. It's kind of funny that it's called flavoring oil because it actually doesn't have a flavor. So it's more of a smell than it is a flavor oil. But I guess if they called it a fragrance oil, we'd think it was for lotions and such and not lip balms or lip scrubs. To this, we're gonna go ahead and add our sugar. I always find that it's easier to mix in if you put like half in at a time, but you certainly can pop the whole amount in there if you'd like. I just like to get a good feel for the consistency as I'm making it. And then we'll just go ahead and give that a good mix. And I kind of want to show you the consistency of that. As you can see, it has a little bit of body there so it can kind of hold its own shape. 
and then we'll just go ahead and pop this into our container. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoy making your own cherry emulsified lip scrub. Bye.